In this video, we'll look at what input offset voltages are. Input offset voltages are one of the most common imperfections present in practical op amps. If we take an open loop op amp and ground both the input terminals, ideally we should get zero voltage at the output. However, in real op amps, despite having zero differential input, we still get some finite output. This output is due to the offset voltages present at the input of the op amp. To understand why we get this offset voltage, we need to take a look at the internal structure of the op amp. The first stage of an op amp consists of a differential amplifier. Differential amplifiers ideally need to be symmetric. However, during fabrication and packaging, several mismatches occur. Hence, even if we apply the same input to both the terminals, that is zero differential input, the bipolar transistors sensing the two inputs may display slightly different base emitter voltages, what we call biasing voltages. The same effect occurs for MOSFETs. Thus, the op amp sees a differential input and amplifies this, to give us some offset output. We can cancel the effect of the input offset voltage by applying a differential input of the same value in the opposite polarity. Thus, the input offset voltage VOS is defined as the differential input voltage we are required to apply, so that we get zero voltage level at the output. We model the input offset voltage by a voltage source of value VOS, applied to any one terminal of the op amp. As input offsets are arbitrary, we cannot determine their polarity beforehand. Hence, we can model the offset voltage at any terminal. Offset voltages can range from 1 mV for low precision op amps and can go as low to a few microvolts for high precision op amps. Why are DC offset voltages important? Let's take the example of the non inverting amplifier. In the presence of op amp offsets, the non inverting amplifier now sees an input of V in plus VOS. Hence, the output becomes 1 plus or 2 by R1, into V and plus VOS. This means that the op amp not only amplifies the input, but also the offset voltage, leading to severe inaccuracies. Suppose the value of V in is 1 mV and the value of the input offset voltage is 0.1 mV. If the gain of the circuit is 10, then the V in will be amplified to 10 mV and VOS will be amplified to 1 mV. As we do not know the exact polarity of VOS, we tend to write the output as 10, plus or minus 1. That is, the output can be 9 mV or 11 mV. Input offset voltages affect inverting amplifiers in a similar manner. As the gain of the op amp increases, so does the offset voltage at the output, which leads to higher inaccuracies. This is especially a problem in circuits dealing with low voltage applications. It is also a problem for data converter circuits, which require a high amount of precision. So, we need to find a way to eliminate this offset voltage. The first thing we can do is use a high precision op amp. However, this can increase the cost of the circuit. The second thing we can do is use DC offset nulling circuits. If you look at the IC741 pin diagram, you can notice two pins labeled as offset null. We can nullify the effect of the input offset voltage by applying a potentiometer between these terminals and adjusting its value till we get zero output. That's all for this video. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.